Hi friends, today we're going to do a fun project that involves us finding some found objects. So the main focus of today's project is warm and cool tones. So as you see, in some of my shapes I have warm tones and then I have cool tones. And we'll talk more about that. Alright friends, so the first thing we're going to do for this project is gather up some found objects because we are going to be tracing them, so we really want to pay attention to the shapes. So I like this shape because it's a nice rectangle, so I'm going to go ahead and start by tracing this first shape. Now notice how when I'm tracing it, I'm holding it down in place, trying not to move it around. Now. It's easy to go around, but what about this? I have my hand here. I'm actually gonna take my pencil and just go under, lift my arm up a little, just kinda pull my pencil down and connect. And if the edges aren't completely there, touching, that's fine. We'll just draw a nice line to pull those together. Then I'm gonna go for my next shape. Now, I'm paying attention to shapes that I find interesting, and it's okay if they overlap. We actually want them to overlap. That's where it gets fun when it comes to coloring. So depending on your paper size, that'll determine how many shapes you want to get. And if they're not perfect, that's okay. Some of these are kind of awkward to trace, so see. And that's fine, I'll just connect that there. So now, I'm gonna take my circle shape, which you know Miss Olivis loves her makeup, so of course she's gonna have some makeup products in there. This is my blush. I'm gonna trace it as best I can as well. And I have a nice square shape. So I'm trying to get a variety of shapes best I can, just so there's some variation going on in our picture. Just, I have this large circle, which I'm actually gonna have that kind of cut off here on my paper. Now, once you've got your shapes down, we're actually gonna go ahead and outline them. So for outlining, I'm going to be using this pretty blue pen that I love using, especially for outlining. And I'm gonna go ahead and just follow my lines best I can. Now, where there's some imperfections, we're just gonna not trace those, and then I'll erase them out with my eraser. So go ahead and outline all your shapes. So now that I got those outlined, I'm gonna take my eraser and just follow my shape lines. That's gonna clean up any unwanted pencil line that I have. We're just gonna erase those out. So now for this part, this is the fun part, you can use crayons or watercolors, which is what I'm gonna be using. Of course, parental permission. Always ask before you get out the paints. But if you don't have watercolors and you just have crayons, markers, colored pencils, that works too. And you can also kind of combine them together. So I'm going to start by coloring this shape in with my blue. So since I colored in this part blue, I want to hit hit this part with a warm tone because blue's a cool tone. So, for my warm tone here, I think I'm going to actually dip my brush into my yellow. I'm going to dip my brush into my yellow and just start pulling it down. Now, because of the marker that I used, it will go into my paint a little bit, just because it's getting wet. And that just will kind of pull that marker out. That's fine. Sometimes I think it gives it a cool effect. I'm just going to fill my shape with my warm tone. So since I have a warm tone here, this will be a cool tone as well. And I will actually dip this into my violet. And I'll just start filling it in with my violet color or purple. Again. 
So since I've used my cool tone violet here, this will be my next warm tone. For this, I'm going to go with my red because yes, I love how vibrant the red comes out sometimes. Okay, so now that I have my warm tone with my red here, I'm gonna actually do two cool tones in these spots. So I'm gonna actually use my green now. So now I have a spot where we've got our cool tones. So this, I we'll wanna make it a warm tone, but then here, we we'll also wanna make it a warm tone, and here it'll be a warm tone. So I'm going to go into my orange, put my orange in there, and then I'll probably pull my orange down in here too as well. Once again, I'm outlining my shape best I can. I'm just pulling that color down, outlining my shape again. And there we have it, our warm and cool tones, trace and shapes.